Hi everyone, my name is Patricia. I just wanted to teach you guys how to make money while you sleep. With the way the economy is, um, so many people have lost their jobs. So I just wanted to do something to help um, encourage and show you how you can make money while you sleep. Um, the way to doing that is by creating digital products. I'm going to have um, five different products that I'm going to create. Um, it's going to be called dropping gems because I'll be dropping information that will help you along the way with your business and so that you can make money while you sleep. Um, this first class uh, will consist of creating an invitation. That would be part one. Um, it is done in silhouette. Um, I will be doing one also in Canva. Uh, many of you do not have silhouettes so that you can use Canva. Canva does has a free pro program. Um, with silhouette, you must have a silhouette machine. Um, I have some of my items here already um, on the side. And so we'll be using these. I actually drew my lemonade uh, stand um, kind of from scratch using some of these items like um this i actually kind of uh traced it but i created this top to make it look like an actual stand um so i'm gonna go ahead on and i'm gonna get started we're gonna do a five by seven so what i'm gonna do is create a rectangle and that rectangle i want it at five wide so I went up to the top and I want the height at seven. And I want to change the color. And so I think we're going to do like maybe a blue color, something like that. That may be too, too light. Maybe something like this to kind of bring all your colors together. And so I'm going to blend blend everything in pretty much let's go with it a little bit darker we're going to go with that dance that way we can kind of get the color that we really want okay there's more of that turquoise color that i want i'm gonna bring it down there it is okay that's the color um that i'm going to be working with and so of course i know i want the stand so i'm going to bring the stand to the front and i don't exactly know exact what um what i'm planning to do as far as to to make it look the way that i want to make it look i'm just going to play with a few things and place things here and there and so i really want it kind of behind there actually i'm bringing it in front make it just a tad bit bigger and of course I'm working on an eight and a half by 11 um, background and so this um, this lemon I'm going to change the color and to change that color what I'm going to go to is I'm going to open the image effects panel which is here I'm going to go into the colorize and then I'm just going to go to the hue and as you can see, what it's do doing is it's changing the um, different colors. I could have gone with the purple or I could go with that, um, that pink color. And so we're just going to use the pink. bring it forward uh -oh. let me just send this to the back send to the back okay
And so now I have that. And so just so that it looks um just a little bit like it's blending in, I'm just going to go down on the transparency just a tad bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this out. And I don't like because it has looked like a, a, like a little black line or something. So what I'm going to do is, and I want it also to be um, straight. So I'm going to use my knife tool, go straight down cut it, delete that part, and then bring it back, and bring the side size down, because we want everything to look like it's blending in. And so now I'm going to take this orange, and I'm probably going to make it just a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to duplicate it because I may need it for something else. So I'm going to duplicate it. But I'm going to cut the top off. And then I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut the side off, but I don't want to cut the design, it, the, um, the square itself. And so I'm just going to cut it here or slice it and then I'm just going to bring it to the edge here and so I think I'm going to do the same thing with this as far as with the transparency and so as you can see it kind of blends in <coughs> excuse me when you use the transparency it kind of blends in a little and so i'm going to start with the words and then everything else i can kind of fit around it and of course this is a drive-by birthday party so i'm going to put sunshine Of course, I need to change it from um, capitalization. And so we're trying to find a font. something that will look nice with it more like a script font or something I'm going to change the color And so this is just a tad bit too big, so we're going to bring it down. Sunshine. <clears throat> and then we're going to put lemonade. Of course, we won't be using that font. Stand. Going to change the part.
And so we want to change that color to pink. Of course, it isn't lined up, but that's okay for now. And so, of course, it's a drive-by birthday. So we're going to put drive-by. And then birthday party. Actually, we can just put drive-by by itself. And we're going to put that in white. We're going to line it all up. So for now, we're just getting all our, our wording together. So I'm just going to duplicate sunshine. Birthday party. And so it's starting to come together a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this inside. I'm going to change the size of it. And I'm going to change the color of it. So I'm gonna bring this front, bring to the front, bring this to the front, and bring this to the front. And of course, I'm just lining it up the way that I want it. And so I'm debating whether to put it on the side because we know it's a lemonade stand. So we're just trying to figure out whether to put it on the side or not. And then we want the child's name. So I did Jory Jade. Let me change the color. And we're going to also change the font. Let's do this. Come on. Sometimes my computer freezes. All we're doing here is just 
so that we can keep keep the same font we're just changing changing the words here so we're going to put jewelry j and we're still going to use the pink the pink we're still going to use the pink color and so instead of it being yellow it's going to be pink And I think I'm going to change the font on here as well. I like the way that looks. And then I'm not too fond of how her name looks. And I always try to use the same fonts, but I like the sunshine, the way the sunshine looks, but I don't like the way that it looks with um with the jewelry, with the name with the J's. So I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna just change it up. So I changed it up again a little bit. And then I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to use the same font here. We're going to use white. So we're going to push some of this up because we don't want everything to look like it's just bunched up. We don't want it to look like that. And then once we're finished, we're going to straighten everything. So... And so I'm undecided, just turning. Bring it above. And so we're going to change that font because we're not going to use that either. And so I'm just trying to find um, a nice font to use for it. And so we're going to add just a touch of that green.
And so it's just a matter of putting everything, um, putting everything together. So instead of this being white, we're going to change it to green. And see how that looks. I'm not fond of it. But I can also do an offset. And I'm going to put 0 0.045. And I'm going to put it to white. And so I think that looks a little bit better. And so it's just a matter of putting everything together. And so then you can start with, um, I think what I'm going to do is turn this around. So I'm basically just trying to get it straight. There we go. And of course, it is. Let me make sure it's to the front. Frame to front. Yeah, it's in front. And so we're just going to put it there for the sake of, um, just for the sake of. And so, I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to put Saturday. And it just depends on how you want um how you want stuff to look. It's basically how you want it to look. And so I just put Saturday and then everything else I'm gonna put here. And I know you can't see it right now until I place it, until I place it on the mat. And these should have been capitalized. And then. I'm going to take this and bring it down. And what I did was I just took, took the um, lemon, took this lemon and brought it here instead. I'm going to bring it to the front.
and I just kind of slid it over just a little bit and so all I did was um, went back to it okay and so now you can add an address to it um, underneath the bottom I'm going to use the same text and I'm going to put 1229 Main Street. Captain. It doesn't matter. I'm just making up stuff. Sorry. Yes. And then we're going to add a phone number. We want to center it. We're going to use white. And so we haven't used these pink colors anywhere and so just to kind of make it look nice we can kind of put them in different places like that one and then I can just bring it up here and then duplicate And so now I'm going to um, make sure that um, it's in the center. I want to make sure it's in the center. Okay. Okay. Well, that one's in the center. That one's in the center. in the center that's in the center and what happened was with this I'm just gonna bring it down just a little bit And then I'm going to make sure it's in the center. Okay. And now I'm going to do an offset. And I had it at 0 0.45. I'm going to change it to 0 0.35. Uh-oh. Wrong thing. It was supposed to be just this text. Okay. Zero three five. And so now we're gonna make it white. And so um I'm just gonna take these and just kind of put them, just place them different places. I'm trying to place it behind the um behind the lemonade stand. Uh-uh. 
I sent it to the back instead of backward. And sometimes it's, there it is. Sometimes they are a little hard to even send. And real quick, I'm going to just draw, a, um, I'm basically going to just draw a cup. And so I'm going to make it look like it has lemonade or something in it. And so all I'm doing is decreasing the size of it. Actually, I'm going to keep the size where it is. So all I'm doing basically is making it look like it has water, I mean lemonade in it. That's all I'm basically doing. And so now I'm going to put a straw. I'm going to make a straw. And I'm going to see if I got something cool. A cool, um, some type of cool pattern to be able to make the straw. Come on. Sometimes my printer gets stuck. Everything seems to get stuck. There it is. <coughs> and I'm going to angle it. Excuse 
excuse me. I'm going to go back to, to advanced. Uh-uh. And now I'm just going to scale it just a little bit. And so I just kind of changed it to see what it would look like. And so I think I like it like that. And so that looks more realistic. So I'm going to group them. And I'm actually, what I'm actually going to do is put a lemon And I'm going to give it the feel like it's actually on the edge of the cup. So that's why I cut it. I'm going to ungroup this. I'm going to bring this up just a tad bit more. I'm basically trying to give it that that lemon kind of look. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay. I'm going to bring this back up and I'm going to move this down and I'm going to put Saturday above it.
everything is basically about uh realism and so this piece I'm just going to add it somewhere and I'll just add it here. And so I think you now you have a really cute um, lemonade stand party. Um, a lemonade stand um, invitation. Um, if you need any help, just hit me up. That's what I'm here for. I make these videos for you guys. Um, Make sure that you hit the like, you hit the subscribe, um, follow me on TikTok. It'll be my links. All of my links will be under the bottom of this video, of this YouTube video. So just hit the links and thank you guys. I'll be doing a um, drop in gems part two. Um, I also wanted to tell you with this um, invitation, um, the way that you can make money off of this invitation is you can do two things you can upload it and don't put any of the information leave some of the area blank and use it as a pdf form and they fill in the other um information you just you just lock everything else that you don't want them to change or don't want them to modify that's one way um another way is you can bring it into cordial if you bring it into cordial that's a paid program that you would use um, you can do the same thing where you lock it. All they're changing. They can't change colors. They can't change any of that. Um, unless you want them to. If you want them to, then they can change all that information. If you do not, you can lock it so that they can't change it. Um, you can do it um, that way as well. Um, you can actually. And then that way, if you do it those ways, they're making all the changes. They're changing the name. They're changing the age. They're changing everything that needs to be changed as far as name, age, and phone numbers and addresses. But the initial design, it actually stays the way it is. Um, that's up to you if you want to allow them to change colors or change anything in that specific design. Um, if not, um, you will be changing it yourself if you don't do it those two ways you'll have to change it yourself and then when you're changing it yourself it takes time it takes away it takes a uh, time away from what you really have to do so you want to be cautious if you're uploading it to etsy if you're uploading it or uh, wherever you're uploading it to you just want to be cautious of um what you're planning to do as far as that goes i hope this has helped you i'm going to be more, dropping more gems i have a uh, dropping gems part two that's going to come up and um i will be notifying you guys they'll actually be in order for the dropping gems uh this is a silhouette class i also be doing like i mentioned previously i also be doing um doing it on canva as well so you guys can see how you can uh, create it on canva for my own good, I'm going to print this um, and actually use it on my TikTok to show people how they can create something like this. If you're on TikTok, please follow me. Um, please share my videos in your face in the Facebook groups. Um, also, I'll list my Facebook groups down to the bottom um, so that if you all got have any uh, issues, you can definitely reach out to me. Thank you all and. Have a pleasant day.